Hello, today we are going to do some practice strokes and I've already been using this palette today so I'm going to just keep working on it and I want to share with you some rolling petals, rolling leaves and I know I've done it before but I like to come on often and share some different technique with you. So today I'm going to uh, come in here with some violet pansy. We're using multi-surface paint with one stroke brushes. My one stroke brushes are on onestroke.com. All right, and everything you need. And if you're a member of my one stroke advantage membership, you get an extra percentage off every month off all the products that you want on my site. So check that out. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Here's a petal that we're gonna start with. Let's move over here though. All right, so I'm gonna start here and show you that if we take and wiggle and then roll and wiggle and roll and wiggle, we can get a really nice petal, all right? So when I come in here and do another roll, see how I could come right in? The light's too bright. Okay. It's because we're fighting the black. So let me come in here and show you a few more strokes. Let's get it away maybe. All right, so look, I can come in here and meet up to the edge of that ruffle. Then I can ruffle again in here, ruffle again, do like a peony, All right? But let's, let's look at this again. All right, so I can come up. Come on, let's get rid of that glare. I can come up and wiggle, roll the brush up, and then we'll come back down. All right, so I'm picking up lots of paint. See that? Like ribbon candy. I roll that front of that brush on the right side and then come back down, all right? So these are going to be, be layered. And that's another thing I, I have been sharing with you guys is how to layer. You see that it looks like ribbon candy coming down, all right, right here. Back and forth. And then I can even come down here, back and forth. Okay, so I want you to see that I can come in here with floating medium. And this is treasure gold, rose gold. Okay, that's also on my site. You get all the supplies, brushes, paints, packets, how-to patterns, everything on onestroke.com. All right, so look, I can go up and down, up and down and do a petal. All right, so it's all floating medium on that side and then all treasure gold on this side. So what happens by doing that floating medium, look at the liquor, the licorice or the black paper that shows through. Now I just watch this, I just keep dipping. One corner where the floating medium isn't. All right, and one more time. Okay. All right, so now all I have to do, cause that's gonna dry, this is rose gold. All I have to do is, I don't have licorice out, wait a minute. Here's some licorice folk art multi-surface. My favorite paint. We even have sets you can get. So the most used Donna Dewberry colors. Okay. That makes it really nice. All right. So then I'm just going to come in here and use the handle of my brush and dot some texture in here. All right. Or the other thing I do is so I dotted a lot there, but I can also come in here 
with some rose gold detail. Okay. Also with that handle. And then watch what happens. I just want to come on and show you a couple little flowers that would be fun. All right. So we're going to come here and roll my two script liner and get the licorice paint on this thin brush. Then I can touch and pull, touch and pull. And this side, I'm going to do it the other way. All right. So what happens is we're going to come on the left side and the right side. And then when you get around in front, it would all still come in. And so then you can do a little bit of highlight. So for instance, I can come on top of here and put a few little dots on top of those stamens, or you could even come in with a little bit of white, or you could tap it so it's not exact. So it looks like pollen on the tip. I got paint all over. There we go. This is a practice strokes, okay? So I want you to see there's lots to teach you here. All right, you can also come to the center of these and put citrus and pull, citrus and pull right in the middle. And then it does need yellow or white tips on this, on the, on the stamens. All right, same thing happens here. I didn't make that inky so it was dry looking. So right here, I can make it inkier and pull some different stamens and then come in here with different, you don't have to put these dots right on them. If you just have green underneath, it looks like they're on the stamen, all right? So now let's show you some greenery. So I'm gonna come with citrus and sap. And then I can, I don't know what that is. Then, so this is my three quarter inch brush. I'm sorry, I should have told you that all along. I'm gonna pick up some aqua and work that in, okay? So now look what happens. We can come right here, grab the base, with that sap and that aqua. Let's put a little bit more sap so you see it. Look at that. And we pull down, come in here. I just wanted to come and demonstrate today. Does it look like that? My finger touched there and so it got everywhere. So look, I can come in here. Okay, come right in here. All right, I'm going to show you the difference on doing a green in there with aqua or watch this push, stand up, come back down. Need to pick up some more paint. Look. All right, but now I'm going to get a little bit of that medium. I went straight into the medium. And if you're in my double loader, like we usually use the double loader, if you're in the double loader, this floating medium is right in the middle. Okay. Now, if I, watch what happens if I just put a little bit of white in that aqua. Push down, pressure. And then we'll pull a stem right down into that. I don't know if y'all can see that good. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna slide on the chisel, pressure, stand up, pressure, stand up. And there we go. So this one doesn't look so good, but look, the beauty of one stroke painting is that we just come right back in and pick it up. Now watch, watch, this is what I wanted you to see. Okay, I've got the brush all loaded, all kinds of color on there. Now look what happens here. I can come right up here. I can wiggle this side. 
Now look what happens on the other side. I can lay it back, forward, back, and curl. Okay. And then I just pull a stem right in the middle. All right, so this doesn't show so well. So I want to show you again. Isn't this kind of fun? All right, so I worked white into it. So let's go back over it. Beauty of one stroke, you pick up more paint and restroke it. Now, oh, see how fun. And that was not hard. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle up, reverse direction, push down, stand up, push down, stand up. And it looks like you wiggled, but look, you pull a stem in and it's done. Okay, so this was a little different. But look at all those colors melded together. Now I do have ridges. It's okay. It's okay to have ridges. But I can take some of those ridges off by going back there and restroking and pulling my stem in the middle. This isn't looking good. Let's get a darker stem. Pull a stem in the middle. There we go. Okay, now I want to show you. Let's see if I got another brush handy here. I want to show you that. Look how pretty this looks. I can even put licorice on one side and rose gold on the other side instead of floating medium like we did earlier. Okay, so we can go all around, get some more. And pull a stem. Okay, that stem doesn't look so good. All right, so I can come right across here. I can also pull some of this. Let's pull this out. All right. And now I can come in with the rose gold and make a stem. But now look what happens. Ignore this, or you can leave that in there. Look what happens. This is that eight flat. And this is all the metallic laying on top of it. I don't know if you can see. Or you could just put a little black in here. Little bits of black. All right, and then I take the chisel. I don't use a liner, I take the chisel. All right, now look what happens here. I'm gonna wipe this off and just use rose gold. And I go one, two, this is rose, treasure gold, rose gold. We have so many colors. I think we have at least eight or more. So is that not fun? And it's elegant and you can put it on any kind of vase and lamp, trays, glasses, wine glasses. You can use this treasure gold on all those indoor, outdoor. And it comes in purples. It comes in like three or four golds. And it comes in greens and aquas. Okay, so I hope that was fun. We were just showing you a multitude of things that you could do, rolling, using metallics, just having a good time by how you load that brush and what you put on that brush. Sound good? I'll see you next week. But what you're supposed to do, this is practice homework for the week. So I want to see these, make them different colors and put them on the Donna Dewberry's official One Stroke group on Facebook. Sound good? I would love to see what you create and share. We love to help each other. See you later. Bye-bye.